Hey guys, it's Rec, and I am back to playing Rift for some awkward reason. And we are looking at a new dungeon today that isn't new, that's actually been out for a very long time, that I've just kind of wandered into with uh, a friend that's got me back into the game. And there was an extended point uh, a while ago where I kind of stopped playing Rift, but I had a reason to get back into playing MMOs, so here we are. This place is called the Realm of the Fey. And uh, it's, in contrast to the last place we were, quite different. <laughs> Whereas Iron Tomb is a little bit, um, sort of, Iron Tomb. Realm of the Fey is more, Realm of the Fey! Ow! Yeah, um, bunnies, squirrels, that sort of thing. Um, usually, normally, guardian accessible only. But with the new, not so new, new feature... Uh, introduced to Rift, we have the random dungeon finder, and it can throw us in either here or Iron Tomb. And we got lucky enough, or unlucky uh, enough, as some would say, to have this instance. And I was very happy to be recording it for all of you, because I haven't seen it yet. So, this is my second time into this instance, actually. First time, I got a run through from a friend who's in here on his bard right now and uh, that was when I did all my quests and there was only one quest to actually do in here on the uh, defiant side so you really didn't miss all that much with that but all it is for defiance is go kill the bosses and there's nothing really else to do but regardless I'll show you what kind of bosses you can expect to find in here the general aesthetic of this place and just all the cool stuff you'll find the trash in here, I think, is a little bit lighter than Iron Tomb. I don't know what it was. You may notice that this is only one part instead of two compared to the last instance video. And that's a combination of a couple things. First thing is we have Cyphus with us. And Cyphus is a friend from WoW who's been a buddy of mine for a while now. And he is a fantastic bard. And our the rest of our group just face rolls and face rolls and face rolls and face rolls and they're all really good at this game so we had no problems in this instance at all uh none of us got below like 50 percent health i think and it was just straight through pretty quick pretty safe uh as far as runs go so um, I think we are coming up on the first boss. Yes, Trickster Mel Marlow here. I think that's his name. Yep. Nothing really to this fight. There's a couple ads, and you see Wreck run in and start DPSing on the boss. No Wreck, bad Wreck. Yeah, there you go. Get on that ad. Get on that ad, because it's protecting the boss. And if you kill the ads first, the boss goes down a lot easier. And that's pretty much all there is to that fight. All you have to do... Just kill the two ads, and then kill the boss. And I'm dumb, and I'm still not killing the ad, even though it's still alive. Just kind of whacking on the boss, not even paying... Oh, there we go, and now his HP is dropping really fast. What have we learned today? <laughs> Pay attention. Um, but it's really not a big deal with this group. We, we face roll pretty much all of this instance. So, you may notice a couple things uh, a little bit different, aside from that first of all bunny 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 but anyway um i'm not a cleric anymore i went to playing a warrior because i sort of had to pop up on another server completely when i got back into this game had to do a little bit of re-leveling but it wasn't really that bad uh that's kind of it as far as that's concerned playing a warrior now um is a little different not really compared to what I was doing before. The only difference I have seen so far is the fact that I have a charge and I use a macro where I didn't before and I have combo points. That's kind of it. Actually, I feel a little bit like a wowish ret paladin with this build I've got going right now. It's champion, uh, what were the other two abilities? I think champion, rift blade, and something else that I, beastmaster. Yeah, that's it. Champion Riftblade Beastmaster for my DPS build. And that's not really the top DPS uh, as far as I know. I think the top is actually some sort of dual wield type thing that I really haven't experimented with all that yet. But, um, 
this build works okay for leveling. I, I am, I'm enjoying it right now, and I'm only level 19, probably level 20 um, right now. And the, during this video, I was level 19. But uh, it's it's okay. It's okay. I like it. The only problem with it is it's got an ass ton of reactive commands. You can kind of get around that in this game by making a really, really huge macro um, that has all of the reactive commands bound to one ability. So you <laughs> might see down on my hotbar around where the number two button is just the word spam. And that's what I do. I just spam that one button. And maybe four when I get the feeling to do so. And maybe shift two when I see bleed effects on the target. That would help my DPS a lot. And then R whenever I see a lot of things that I need to kill at once. But aside from that, pretty much just spam two, rupture, and venom. Wait a minute. That sounds like playing... Assassination Rogue. Oh god, that's why I like this character so much. It's exactly like what Assassination Rogue was in WoW. Combined with my Paladin, sort of. In a weird way. Ugh. Regardless. So the general theme of this instance is the seasons. We progressed through the spring, and now we're in the middle of the summer. You'll notice uh, the trees sort of change just a little bit as we continue. The enemy types are a little bit different in each individual area. I think the first area has a lot of, like, fairy things and trees and crap like that. And then this area has a lot of... What the hell are those things? They're like hobgoblin-ish murlocs. I don't know. I don't know what those things are. They're called boglings, I believe. Yeah. I think I have a pet one of those that I got with the special collector's edition or some shit like that. But, uh... That's pretty much the gist of this instance, is you progress through the seasons and you kill one boss associated with each one of those. And this is the normal version, by the way, I shouldn't have to tell a lot of people that, but it's the of-level version. The heroic is something that I'll be filming a lot later because I've got to actually be of-level for that before I get around to doing it. So, we're moseying along, nothing much else to report at the moment, but... As for coming back to Rift, um, I was torn between going back to Rift or going back to WoW, um, but I'll tell you more about that after the boss, I guess. This is a giant frog. Its name is Lugadan or something like that. You'll notice me not doing anything um, that looks special to him because I really don't care at this point. I'm getting so many heals from my bard friend and my cleric friend that it really doesn't matter. And the only thing this boss really does is he shoots out a little glob of slime which kind of makes a little circle on the ground. And if you jump out of the slime pool, then you take less damage. Get out of the fire, regardless. Uh, other than that, nothing. Just spank him until he falls over. And his tongue kind of flops out of his mouth. Blech. <laughs> like so. So, we get done with summer, and we go to autumn, and we're halfway through the instance already. Yes, we're halfway through the instance already. Uh, <laughs> eh, this group is flying with no respect to any of the wildlife whatsoever. I'm not sure if it was levels or just us. But we keep going and we eventually progress into the fall woods. And I think this place takes the longest out of all the areas to get through. I'm not sure why. There's a lot of like little goatee friends running around in here and half of them are boozing out. Like if you look really closely, you'll see a couple of martini glasses. Uh, <laughs> That are being held by these little goat people. Um, I guess goats like booze. That I, I do not hold this against them. I respect a man that has a fine taste in quality of alcoholic beverages. Or not a man, I guess. A half goat type thing or something like that. Eh. Kill, 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 bugs everywhere, bugs everywhere, kill, 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 kill. What is our tank? Our tank is some sort of paladin-ish thing. Uh, we have a couple rogues. I think one of our rogues is... One of our rogues is definitely a bard, because Cyphus is support during this instance, providing us with all these lovely buffs. Well, he slams Metallica in the background. Basically. That's how he plays all of his video games, I'm guessing. And I don't know 
what the other rogue is, but he's got a pet, so I'm guessing it's some sort of Beastmaster thing, hybrid, I don't know. And the last guy appears to be staff-wielding cleric -y thing. That's, that's all I know about that. <laughs> it's kind of hard to tell um, what people are spec right now, because I haven't had that much experience in this game just yet. I mean, I just got back into it. So I don't know what all of the abilities and whatnot refer to. If you guys notice anything that looks out of place that might be interesting, uh, just go ahead and say so. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I kind of have a, as much experience as a newbie right now. I, I don't, I really don't know all that much about my class in particular and just the game. Lols. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep killing. Blah, 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 blah. I think we're about to round this spin to the next boss here in a little bit, though. Um, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I happened to try my first match of PvP before we got into here. Because Cyphus decided to think and tell me that PvP was a good idea and PvP was good fun for me. Apparently, if you don't have a proper build for PvP, you get your ass stomped in this game repeatedly. Repeatedly, repeatedly. It, 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 it's not fun. Because when I did PvP, I don't know if it's my battle group or what, but we all died. We all died horribly. It was terrible. I think the final score of whatever match I was playing, it was like Warsong Gulch, I guess ish except there was a flag in the middle I don't know I don't know what was going on but I kept charging people and spamming my button and spamming my execute and nothing happened it was terrible absolutely horrible I I, I need to fix it because it makes me feel bad and hopefully I can fix it in time to bring you guys some quality footage of what pvp in this game is actually kind of like but don't hold your breath on that one because um I'm not really a big fan of PvP in World of Warcraft, and I don't think I'll be a big fan of it here. Ah, here's the boss. This big guy is just waking up from a nap, and he's all like, Oh, where are these people come from? Uh, we, we, we gotta make sure they don't get to the final boss, but I don't care about the final boss, because he's kind of an asshole. And rawr, I'm getting all mad and stuff, so I'm gonna attack you now, after I finish this epic speech that takes too long. So he gets into it, and... All he does is he runs around. He runs around, runs around. You can kind of ignore the ads with the wine glasses in this fight because they really don't do much that I noticed. This fight is a, just a lot of, like, chasing him around. I had a charge, so it was less chasing than I guess would require for more, most people or something like that. But he's annoying. I don't like this guy. He's just he's just lame. He's not hard. He's just like, Wee! Oh, I gotta chase you around to make sure you die. Wa la 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 la. Uh, he dies, his ads run away, all scared. I'm not sure how Syph has got his achievement early like that, but regardless, he probably joined some other instance. And now we get to the part of the instance that I don't like. This is the winter section. <laughs> and the winter section just sucks. I don't like it. Um, and you'll see why here in a little bit. I'll, I'll probably make a big deal of it. But it starts off pretty well. It starts off okay. This part kind of reminded me of the Nexus in, uh, in the World of Warcraft. Um, and as we progress along, killing ads, killing ads, killing ads, everything seems fine. Everything seems okay, right? Everything's just great. Well, you would be wrong. You would be horribly, terribly wrong. And I'll tell you why. After you kill these first two ads and you get far enough into the winter section, guess what? You can't see shit. Look at that. It's just all white. This blizzard just cuts out the entire screen and makes things terrible for everyone. The blizzard. Messing up MMOs. For everyone. Blizzard is messing up MMOs for everyone. Uh, at, oh, 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 no, 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 nope, 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 nope. So that was I was a slip. I'm sorry. I I was letting some uh, some some repressed some re repressed emotions get out there. <laughs> yep, I can't see shit through this storm. What you have to do is basically rely on your mini map to see where to go, 
And thankfully, this part isn't that long, because if it was any longer, I would probably bitch about it a lot more. I really don't like it. I don't like it when they take you through a section of any sort of place where you can't see anything based on some sort of weather effect. I mean, it's kind of cool. Kinda. Sort of. Sort of cool. I don't like it. I really don't. It's just lame. And... You see my little bar on Mumble there going crazy because I'm doing nothing but bitching about it to my friend at this point because I don't like it. I don't like not being able to see anything. But regardless, we're about done. We're coming up on the final boss now. Final boss isn't that bad. He's a long fight, but not bad at all. There's no real hard parts in this instance from what I can tell. Like, in the Iron Tomb, there's the gauntlet where you have to fight all the shades, and they keep coming and keep coming, and if you get separated from your group, then you can get owned or something like that. But we see the final boss, and he runs away. What? Where did he go? Oh, he summoned this thing. This is an avatar of Autumn. Basically, what you have to do is you have to fight through all of the avatars of the seasons you've previously finished, because this guy is like the head boss, sort of, of all the seasons. Um, even if he's just winter. I don't know why winter beats all the other seasons, but I don't... I guess Christmas comes during the winter. That's the only thing I can think of. But you get on the next one, Avatar of Summer, and you beat him down, you beat him down. And all these ads have a special ability. The first one kind of dazes you, and you want to run in circles. Not a big deal. The second one splits into all these little pieces that you're seeing right now, and you have to kind of burn them all down and burn them down, and burn them down, and burn them down. It takes a while. I don't like the second one. The second one makes me angry. And then you get to the last one, who is the Avatar of Spring. Yeah, Avatar of Spring. And you work on him, and he summons a lot of adds. And it's probably a good idea to kill his adds before you actually kill him, because once you kill him, he'll summon the boss. And if all of the adds are still up, when you summon the boss, it just makes everything more complicated. And it's probably not a huge deal, but it it makes things easier, so why not? So we get fighting him, and the only thing he really does is freezes people in place and shoots a laser beam on the ground. It's a little, like, green thing. I'm not sure if he'll actually do it in our fight. I'm not seeing it. It's probably off screen if he is doing it. But anyway, he goes down like a punk because all of his entourage was the only thing that was actually difficult, if anything, about him. But, regardless, that is the whole of the Realm of the Fae. It is, as I said, normally a Guardian instance, but with the change, they did make it accessible to the Defiant. That is why I didn't get all the quests for it. And in a little bit, I'll show you what the map looks like for it. It's pretty large, pretty large instance, but it looks really cool. You can kind of tell with the coloration where all the different zones are. The first one, the green one's like all the spring one, and then the yellow one's all the summer one, and the red one's all the fall one, and so on and so forth. But that's pretty much it. It's a fun... It's it's actually... No, I lied. It's not really a fun instance. <laughs> it's kind of fun. It's okay. But it, it it's kind of boring, too. It's not that bad, I guess. But regardless, this was Realm of the Fae. And thanks for watching, guys. Be expecting more Rift videos, I suppose, in the future. As I pile drives through some more instances with my friends. In the magical world of Talara. Thanks for watching. Bye.